Oh my word. Look at this. All those are dead mites. I'm gonna treat these bees in my backyard with oxalic acid vapor. I'm gonna try and keep these mites down through the winter and hopefully they'll come out the other side of winter strong. 66 degrees last time I checked. Perfect temperature for doing this, I think. And I've got two different types of beehives in my backyard. I've got the traditional wooden hives and then I also have an apame hive. The apame does present some problems uh, for treating. You don't want to stick a 400 degree vaporizer gun into a plastic surface, it'll melt it. Now the products I'm gonna to use today are from one company, Laura Bees. Robert Laura Bees has created a really good product. I've done some reviews on it in the past. I've done some other videos where I've utilized this product before. So if you wanna see my review on it, more detail about the product, you can go back and watch some of those videos from the past. I did a pretty extensive review back in the spring. He also created a product to address the Apame situation. It's a plate that goes in the back of the hive where the bottom tray is. You take the bottom tray out and you insert the Laura Beats plate in there and it's got a hole in the back. That makes it really easy to use the oxalic acid vaporizer. There's another product we're gonna look at in this video that's not oxalic acid related, but it's kind of cool. It's a little, little frame scrape that he's created haven't tried it before we're going to give it a shot and see how it works after you watch this video if you're interested in finding out more about any of these products i've mentioned i've included a link in the description you guys can go on there and check that out i'd also appreciate any comments ideas or thoughts that you may have uh, please include in the comment section below we are about to go through the process of training these bees now but before we move on i'd appreciate if you go down below and hit that like button help push this video out to more people in order to do oxalic acid vaporization of these hives, there has to be an access point for the vapor to get in the hives. And so I went through a while back and I drilled a quarter inch holes in the back of the hives between the, the bottom of the bottom board and the bottom uh, deep box on the hive. That allows a place or a space for the vapor to come into the colony and vaporize the space in there in order to kill these mites. Some people will use, will use a golf tee or some object they'll stick in the back of that hole when they're done treating each time to keep the hole open because the bees will tend to propolize it. But what I do is I take a drill bit and I just go through all the colonies before I vaporize them each time and just make sure it's clear. And then I actually go through and I get the little application cups ready to go. I use oxalic acid from Florida Laboratories. It has worked great for me. My understanding is that the recommended application is one gram of oxalic acid per box on the hive. And so if you've got a double deep, you need to use two grams. Well, I've got a little scoop here that I use to fill a little cup with, and it is supposedly a gram. It's the equivalent of a quarter teaspoon. So I get the cups filled up. I've only got about six or seven out here to treat, and so I've got, I've got them all filled and ready to go. Uh, then I put a towel in the front of the colony in order to kind of keep the vapor in the colony for a little while to help make sure it penetrates the entire space in the colony to help kill all those mites then i turn the vaporizer on you got to plug it in now if you're out in the field you can use an inverter or a generator to do that i'm at home here i've just got it plugged into my house with a 100 foot cord down here to the hives one thing i do like about the laura bees vaporizer is it does have a switch on it you can turn it on or off as soon as you turn the switch on it will begin to heat up as soon as it hits that 400 degrees it'll stop there and then you'll know it's time to treat the bees so then i uh, take the oxalic acid vaporizer turn it upside down and press it down on the cup. I stick it in the hole in the back of the hive, flip it over, tap the oxalic acid down to the heating chamber, and it immediately begins to vaporize the oxalic acid and shoots it into the colony. The temperature will increase to 400 degrees again. That's when I remove the vaporizer and go on to the next one. It's very quick, it takes probably about a minute per uh, hive. The apame is a little bit different, of course. You've got the plate that you have to put in the bottom of it, but then you treat it the same way. Same process, flip it over, tap the acid down, and it treats the hive. When I'm done, I'll leave a towel in the front of the hives for about five to 10 minutes, and then remove them, and the bees are treated for mites for that application. The ideal time to treat is when there's very little to no brood in the colony. And of course, as it's getting cooler, as we're approaching winter, the brood typically will start to decrease a little bit. Late fall and winter is probably as good a time as any, if not the best time to treat with oxalic acid vapor. Let's go check out that little frame scrape. This is the tool that Rob developed. It's designed to uh, clean the propolis and wax off the sides of the frames. Seems like it could work really good if you're out uh, working your hives and you wanna clean these off really good. So let's see how it works. Oh yeah, look at that. 
scraped it right off. Have to get it just lined up just right. And just, oh my gosh, so easy. It's got a little wedge right here, a little sharp edge. It's just the right width. This runs right along the edge there. Pulls that propolis right off. That is a really handy tool. Look how clean that is. So this is another product from Laura Bees. I just thought I'd share it as well. Uh, he sent this to me and at the time I think it was a prototype, but they do sell them on the website now. Really works well. It's got a sharp edge on there. And just like that, we got the propolis off of there. So I'm impressed with this tool. I'm impressed with the vaporizer. I'm impressed with the APMA plate for application of oxalic acid vapor. Uh, Rob is uh, dedicated to doing things right. I think his products are quality products. If you're interested in checking out the products from Laura Bees, once again, just go down in the description below. There's a link there. You can check it out. And if you're interested, just go ahead and order it. You won't be disappointed. That's it for this video. Y'all take care. Be safe. We'll catch you on the next one.